Hi and welcome to Outwell.com. In this se session we're going to be looking at our Tennessee 5, which is in our avant-garde collection, characterised by our unique design print on our roof and also our coloured panels which run all the way around the outside of the tent. The tent itself is a large tunnel design tent which is simple to pitch and it's designed to sleep up to five people. The fabric the tent is made from is our Outex 5000 material which is a PU coated 100% polyester with a hydrostatic head of 5000 mil. The frame of the tent, we use steel poles, which are all identical in length, making it again very easy to pitch. An innovative feature that we use is also our Outwell wind stabiliser system, which allows us to connect the fly sheet directly to the steel pole. Now what this does is enables the tent to withstand winds of up to a force 10 on the Beaufort scale, which represents about 55 to 63 miles an hour. We also have the features of our luminous guy lines on the outside here. Nice and bright, so again, easy for you to see when it's dark. Each guy line also has its own guy line retainer, so that when you come to pack away the tent, you can just roll this up, pop it in here, and it's nice and easy to get to the next time you pitch the tent. Also, a feature of this tent is the Outwell Easy Pegging System. We have three different types of pegs supplied with the tent. For the four corners of the tent, there's this heavy-duty steel peg, which is very solid. For all the luminous guy lines, there's a luminous peg. And then for around the side of the tent and the mud valance, you have this black plastic peg as well. Again, very easy to use. Also, on the outside, down the side and around the front, we have the mud valance, which just allows rainwater to run down the tent and away from the inside of the tent. Coming around the front, we step into our panoramic room. Now, the front of this tent can be completely zipped up along these sections here to really bring the outside inside. Also supplied with the tent are a couple of upright steel poles, so you can actually open these doors right up and have a canopy out the front of the tent as well for a bit of shelter. It's called our panoramic room because we have panoramic windows around every side. So again, lots of light coming into the tent, lots of space. And on these windows, we also have our zip-up curtains. So very, very simply, pull the curtain out of the holder here, and we have these zips, which just enables you to decide how much light you want to let into the tent. The ground sheet that's in this area is a double-coated polyethylene, which is very durable and has a hydrostatic head of around uh, 10,000 mil. Also in this area, we have our drying uh, rails, which you can see you can hang up your towels or you can cook in accessories or anything like that on there. Just behind the drying rail you'll also see that we have a panel for ventilation coming into the tent, again just giving you that slightly cooler climate and um, reducing condensation. Stepping in to the living area, you can see here, again, lots and lots of space, lots of head height in here as well. The ground sheet in here is the same as the ground sheet in the front, but where that one is a zipped detachable ground sheet, this one is a fully sealed in ground sheet. So no water is going to come in and through there and you're going to keep all the bugs out as well. Once again, big panoramic windows in here with ventilation across the top. The dividing section also has ventilation, again, letting the air through to the living area. And then over on this side here, we have our universal bedrooms. And the universal bedrooms are a two and a three split. So what you have is a sheet of material here, which you can undo completely and have one large compartment. Or what you can also do <coughs> is drop down one of the sides of the sleeping compartments by unzipping here, untoggling at the other side and rolling that away to give you even more living space. Also inside the sleeping compartments, we have lots of storage pockets and we also have some low light windows to enable you just to have a wee look outside. On the front of the sleeping compartments, you can see we have the doors, which have these stripes on them, which is um, in our sort of mix and match area where they can uh, get a carpet to match, which is an optional extra. They match furniture and they match tables and things like that as well. At the back of the tent, we have another door, again with a large mesh panel on there. So again, really um, pushing the ventilation through the tent itself. And that's our Tennessee 5.